What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and tonight's video is actually a reposting of one that I did about a month ago and what happened was there were some audio issues I had to pull the video I thought I reposted it. However over the last few weeks I've been getting some messages asking hey what happened to that one video with the coyotes mask and the FAMAS and I realized hey I didn't put it back up here so that's exactly what I wanted to do today. Now if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button make sure you turn on those notifications. If you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and remember we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year. So in today's breakdown, I'm actually going to show you a few different variations of this build. I have a few that I run with on my own, and then when I'm in a group or playing Countdown, there's another version I use as well. And remember, my friends, this is just a template. There are so many different ways to run with a build like this. The most important thing is to truly take your time and make a build your own. We're starting off with a little bit of gameplay footage. We're going to jump into the build breakdown now, and then at the end of the video, I like to pass along a few tips and tricks to new and returning players, which should hopefully help you out anytime you're trying out a new build. Now starting here with the specialization. I'm using Firewall because it gives me the ability to use the Striker Shield which is going to boost my damage and my allies damage as well. This also has the Firewall Tactical Link. It has Fiery Response and remember regardless of which specialization you choose, always have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree. That way you get a 15% weapon damage bonus regardless of which weapon you're using. My primary weapon for this build is a FAMAS Assault rifle. Now this one I had to craft because I've had the worst luck getting them to drop. They just don't drop for me. I don't know. What are you going to do? But anyway, I was able to craft one, optimize it. It's a total monster. Now I'm using the talent optimist where weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. Now the only thing you have to get used to with this talent is not continuously reloading your weapon. That's one thing I'm used to doing every time there's like a breath in this game because I'm used to running with a shotgun. I wind up reloading and when you do that, you're not getting the full you know benefit of this talent so make sure you empty the clip each time now for those of you that may not like that talent another great option is using the talent close and personal for my secondary weapon i'm using the rock and roll shotgun you could use this you can use an acs 12 you could use i mean anything really it doesn't matter you could use a scorpio whatever you want to put there it's totally dealer's choice and when it comes to the handgun i really don't touch that at all Moving on to the gear itself, you can see I'm running Coyote's Mask, one Fenris, one Grupo, one Overlord, one Petrov, and one Walker and Harris. Now for those of you that may not have this mask as yet, I suggest using a second piece of Walker and Harris here while you're in the process of trying to get this thing, and always let people know what you're farming for. This is an exotic that's been around for a while, so chances are if someone gets one, they'd be more than happy to share. You can see that the talent on this is Pack Instincts, where you and your allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. So this is something that benefits not only you, but your teammates. So once again, in a game like Countdown, it's really, really helpful. Next, we have the body armor, which is the one piece of Fenris we have equipped, which gives us a 10% assault rifle damage bonus. Now for this version, I'm using the talent Obliterate. However, for those of you that want a little more survivability, you could easily swap that out for Unbreakable. And what I do when I'm in a group, I actually switch the talent to Vanguard. So that way, anytime I use the shield, my group gets bonus armor. Armor. Moving on to the holster, it's the one piece of Grupo, so we get that 15% crit hit damage bonus, and all of these pieces, I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage. I'll give you a breakdown of what it is at the end. Moving on to the knee pads, I'm using Fox's Prayer for that middle attribute, which is 8% damage to targets out of cover. Now for this piece, I've chosen to re-roll my core attribute to armor. I need a little more survivability. Now I did the same thing with the gloves, which are the contractor's gloves. And once again, these are incredibly powerful because that middle attribute damage to armor. Now we finally make our way to the backpack and I'm using the Matador which is the named Walker and Harris bag that has the talent perfect adrenaline rush. Now if you don't have this version of the bag that's fine you could put another piece of Walker and Harris here and have the regular talent adrenaline rush and that will still get the job done. Last but not least we have the skills as I mentioned I'm using the firewall the firewall shield I'm using the striker shield with the firewall specialization as well as the assault drone because it is a great distraction to NPC and puts out damage as well. You can see from my stats I'm sitting at 49% crit hit chance remember the max is 60 but with the talent on the coyote's mask 50% is fine and for my crit hit damage I'm at 143.7 now earlier I talked about using a different version of this build 
This happens to be the one I use when I'm in a group because I like using the talent Vanguard on the chest because deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 45% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds. And as I start to wrap this video up, one thing I recommend to new and returning players who are just trying out a new build is go to a mission or control point that you're comfortable with. That way you know the timing of the NPC and you can really have a determination of how the build responds to your gameplay. Most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about having the channel is the family that we have here. So as always, if you have any ways you'd like to run with a build like this, tips or tricks you want to pass along to new and returning players, please leave them in the section down below as the main goal is to help out as many people as we can. With all that being said, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. 15 minutes to log down. Communication relay offline. High levels of radiation detected. Commence operational lockdown procedures. Tech detected. Assault turret detected. Rogue sniper turret detected. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Rogue striker drone detected.
electrical systems exposed. Data transfer halted. Incoming. High risk hostile. 